is Monkey 1000. I've been doing some cleaning today and so I decided I had a, uh, let me bring it down a little bit so you can see, I had a air plant in this container here. So it died. It wasn't getting enough light. I thought it would in the bathroom, but it didn't. Um, so I cleaned it out because I paid like $9 for the thing. And it was expensive. So I want to keep this box. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put fake flowers in it. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these little flowers here. And we're going to, I got some of this. Now this stuff I already had. I got some flowers here. And I got some of this stuff. I'm going to kind of mix it up. I'm going to cut it down. Um, you know, I'm probably going to um, cut these down and put them all in here. And then I'll put it in here. So I'm going to measure this out. We're going to cut it off here. And I got me a knife so I can do that. So, and I'm going to just cut it. Maybe. <laughs> just like so. And this is going to, this was for my bathroom. Uh, I cleaned up the bathroom real good today. So, and um, so if I didn't mention that, that's where it came from. I'm going to need a, another piece here, a thin piece, so we'll just kind of cut it a little bit here. And so if you get containers like this, this is the best thing to do if they, you get a plant that dies and you got some flowers laying around and you know you want to do something different. It is a different gives it a different look in the bathroom or wherever you want to put it. You know, I'm going to get some scissors here for these things. Um, get some scissors here in the kitchen. There we go. Okay. I thought the purple would look nice with um, the uh, the Heather Gray paint that I have in there for the bathroom. Uh, if you see my videos for my Ipsy and stuff like that, you've seen my bathroom. So um, you can look at those if you want to look at the bathroom. I'm going to have to probably repaint because that one section in the bathroom, um, it was a little square piece. Um, it had a little shelf in there and Shea Bear filled it in and put, we put paint on there that I had, but the paint is cracking for some reason. So I don't know if the paint just got old or what, so I'll probably buy me a, a new gallon of paint. The same color, I do like that color in there. It, it's nice. So I'll probably just repaint the whole bathroom and uh, kind of fix that wall again too, so. That or I, could, I was thinking, you know what, I could stick a dang picture up there. No, wait, no. But no, I would rather do it the right way. So, eventually that's what I'm, I'm heading for here, is to be able to repaint a little bit. Oops, that fell off. That's not good. But my good thing about fake flowers, you can pop them back on, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm taking these all off here, the labels and stuff, because these were all... I got these at Dollar Tree and stuff, I think. That's where I got them all. So, now you kind of got to measure, you know. You don't want it to be too long. Um, you know, because it's going to stick in there. Let's see how far deep I can get. Yeah, see? So, you're going to have to take off some of these levels here. So, I'm going to get... I don't think I can do it with scissors. Because there's wire in there. So, I'm going to get some cutters. And I will be right back. I got me some cutters right here yeah. and I'm gonna take off a layer they each got a section here on the flowers so you can kind of take off what you want and I just take one off at a time see how it looks and 
stick it in the hole and see. Because you don't want everybody to see that piece right there, right? So it's still going to be awful high. So I'll go down another one and clip off some more. These are old, so I don't even know how sharp they are. But he uses them quite a bit, so. There we go. So spring cleaning. Might as well. I have a couple of patients I have to do tomorrow, so I won't do anything tomorrow. And I'll do some Wednesday, I think. That's what I'm going to do on Wednesday. Let's do some more spring cleaning. Maybe by the time I finish, we'll be all going back to work soon. I'm doing a room at a time, so I'm not in no rush either, so. There. That looks better. See? And you can bend these any way you want. So, that's what I'm going to do next, I think. I'm going to try this one. This has got a thicker, thicker thing. And you can separate these too if you want. Um, you know, so you don't have to have it all in one bundle. You know, now this is a little shorter, so maybe I'll just stick it in there and see what you like, you know. Kind of play with it a little bit. Now, I'm not the best at this, I mean, you know. You just gotta kind of do it the way you like. Blend them in together. They're kind of cute. You know, and I think what I'm gonna do with these, I don't know if I can cut this. Let me see, yeah. I'm gonna cut this one. And I'm gonna just cut this off right here a little bit. And then I can stick them in between or, you know, um, uh, so, yeah, just stick them in between here, and that way you're kind of, kind of getting a little, little something here. There you go. See? And just kind of play with it the way you like, and I think I'll put one over here in the other corner here. And, uh we can do. It's a very easy task. It's not going to take that long to do. But it's better than throwing out the box, I, you know. <laughs> and I didn't want to buy another real plant to put in it because it's just going to die in the bathroom. If the air plant didn't make it, then it's not going to make it. So, Okay, so now I'm going to put some more purple in there. And I'll probably stick this in here and see. I don't know if I like it like that. If I'm going to turn it this way. I think I'm going to have it facing this way. And then that way I can put this in there. But I think I might separate these. I don't know. This is all I have, really. Um, and probably... Let me see how long it's going to be. Oh, I might not. Maybe just do it like that. There you go. See? And just kind of bend them a little bit. Move them around. There. Just kind of make them cute. I'll take some more of these and put in there. I would have liked some, like, baby's breath in there, but I don't have any. i put some like white ones. If I ever get some, I can add to it at any time. So when I'm able to get to the Dollar Tree, maybe I'll get some of that and put in there. There we go. Just kind of make it pretty. Bend it a little bit so it's not all bunched in together and it kind of spreads apart, especially if you don't have as many flowers as you thought you were going to have or whatever. And this is going to fit on my shelf that I have in the bathroom. So it's going to be on the top one, so no one's really going to see the inside. Um, if you wanted to, you could put, you know, his little um, beads or something in there to cover it up. I, I don't know if I have any. If I have some, I'll 
Maybe put some in there, see if I got some. And just stick these ones in there like so. And they kind of hold in there pretty good. That looks really pretty. Yeah. I don't think I can kill this one, hopefully not. <laughs> That's why I haven't done my garden yet, because I'm afraid I'm going to kill it. <laughs> I like to get that going too. And if I do, I'll do a video on it. Show you how I'm doing my garden. Maybe somebody can give me some tips that knows how to do a garden real good. I've never done one. And there's always first time, right? And I always wanted to do one. Now my mom's done them. and So, there you go, I think. I don't know what the best look is here. I don't know. I like, I like it there maybe. Yeah, I think I like it there. So I'm probably going to put it on the shelf facing like that way, you know. There, I can get you so you can see a little bit better. There, see the top of it better. There you go. So, there you go. Very simple and easy. I'll show you to you in the bathroom and see how it looks. But I th I'm going to see if I got some beads. So hold on and let me see if I have any beads. Okay, guys, I didn't find any um, beads. I might have used them all up. I think Shay Rare did when he did a, a, um, a project with the little lights. Um, so, what I did find are seashells. Now, these seashells I got when I went to see my aunt in New Smyrna when she was down. And it just kind of, I'm just planting them in there. Um, I think because of the theme I have in the bathroom, kind of shows it, kind of weighs this one down here. Um, you're probably not going to see it when I put it on the shelf anyways. But I was just kind of, kind of. Give it a little beachy kind of thing. I was gonna crush them, but eh, I just put them in there. Make it. I kind of stand them up, so I figure if I stand them up, then maybe things will sit in there a little bit better from the foam. You know, the foam's down in there, kind of tucks it in a little bit, puts a little tighter. I got some pretty ones, so we got this all on the beach. Isn't that cool? That is so smooth. Oh, cool. There's a lot of, in New Smyrna, if you ever want to go, go there in the wintertime because there's a lot, a lot of seashells you can get there. So, and I got my little boxes that have seashells in them and stuff, so. It kind of just helps kind of keep the flowers in a little bit better, I think. Yeah, kind of cute. I just put them around and do whatever, right? If you want, you could crush them, you know, or put beads in there, like those little round beads that you get at Dollar Tree. You could do that. Yeah. I kind of, I just have these stands, so if I get tired of them, I can change it. I don't have to, I could probably reuse the foam, so I don't have to, you know, I'll put different flowers in or something. These get nasty or dirty or to the point where I can't use them anymore, you know. I thought I would have trouble finding a place for these seashells. Nope, not at all. Okay, that's cute. Kind of just place them together a little bit. I think that's cute. I'd probably just leave it like that. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty. There you go. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to take a picture of it if I can, without having all this other stuff behind here. This is very, very pretty. They look real, don't they? There we go. There. Alrighty. So now I'm going to show you where I'm going to put them. Okay. There we go, guys. See? I put it up there on my top shelf there. And I washed everything down and cleaned it all up, made it look nice. And I have my boxes over here that I re 
I had them falling down. My seashells are in there and they, they fell down a little bit so I glued them back in there a little bit better. And same with this one. So now I have them in there. Kind of a little beachy. Kind of, I like the beachy stuff really for a bathroom. I think it's cute. And those pup flowers look really nice up there, I think. Um, kind of pops with the, the wall, you know, and the white and that. So I like that. And then I got my seashells there that you can see. And my candle thing that I, I made my little little pot there. I like that too. Yes, and uh, so anyways, there you go. So something simple, didn't take very long. You know, just recycling so I don't have to throw it out. I mean, you know, that container alone, I probably paid more for that container than I did the flower that was in it. So I like to keep it and it looks cute there. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. Um, I'll be doing some more soon. So. Hope you're all doing well and have a good rest of the week. If I don't get any more up, I do have to work tomorrow. So, um, that's it. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye!